looking so damn sexy. Excuse me, she's just exciting like my comics. I'm a Viking, Black Goliath, Bush. Back, fellow knowledge seekers. It's my comics busting through your speakers. I am your host, Frankie J, where we discuss comics night and day. But you know the drill. Before we start, please hit that subscribe bell and button for upcoming videos from my comics. Next is our salute to the up and coming black comic creators, and their work is fire. I'm talking about a straight lit. The link to their comics will be in the description box below. Don't be afraid to show some love. And now, let's discuss our underwritten, underestimated, and underrated black, black superhero, superhero, superhero. Threnody. Her, Her first appearance was X-Men issue number 27 created by Fabian Nikesia and Richard Bennett. Threnody. Young Melody Jacobs was found living on the streets by the monstrous abomination who took her to his subterranean homeless shelter. There Jacobs was nicknamed Trinity by an old woman after the mournful song she sang. Weeks later, Threnity's mutant power of absorbing the energy released by the dead and dying flared explosively out of control, killing the woman and her husband. Cast out by the abomination, Threnity returned to living on the streets in Los Angeles, where she was found by the local police near the hospital, where the mutant infectia lay dying of the legacy virus. Absorbing the ambient neuroplasmic energy, Threnity unwillingly killed two policemen and fled. Seeking shelter in the laboratory of Gordon Lefferts, the first recorded victim of the legacy virus, Threnity encountered several X-Men when they arrived to investigate. Fleeing from them, she encountered geneticist Mr. Sinister, who offered her control over her abilities in exchange for her servitude. Despite the X-Men objections, she accepted and left with Sinister. Mr. Sinister promised her that he could help her out, which he does, but Threnody found herself trapped as Sinister's ward. She later leaves and joins up with Nate Gray. Let's discuss her powers and abilities. Threnody has a unique link to death as it is hinted at with her name. She is capable of sensing the certain necroplasmic energies that surround a person when they are near death or dying. She then absorbs this energy and uses it to generate concussive blasts of energy. When Threnody was murdered, she fed off her own death energy which resurrected her. This experience of being so close to death enhanced her powers, allowing Threnody to now be able to bring back the dead as mindless zombies who follow her every command. The zombies that Threnody creates are completely loyal to her and appear to have several super strengths and can still fight for their queen even when their limbs are torn from their bodies. Threnody has often been depicted as being enraptured by the scent of death and the taste of the energy, sometimes to the point of it being an addiction. Kind of like a vampire in some ways. Because of this, Threnody's powers have caused much sadness in her Threnody. life. This concludes the video. Yo, Charles Hazleton III, bring that outro! Exciting like my comics, I'm a Viking, Black Goliath, Bush, man.